the truth about Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Uh, why the NPC meme triggers NPCs. The truth about illegal immigration. Celebrity cult. Oh man, this is a totally brain dead channel. Oh my god, this is 100% boomer shit. Oh my god, they were trying to copy fucking... They were trying to copy Nick Fuentes for a while. How embarrassing. Holy shit, how embarrassing. All of their videos are are like just at the, at the 10 minute mark. This is fantastic. I love it. Why the yellow vest protests are spreading. The mysterious case of Gareth Williams. M more pizza shit. There's a lot of Pizzagate stuff on here. I noticed they're really, really into Pizzagate. The truth about impeachment. Hmm. This is like this is like somebody wanted to make uh, Black Pigeon Speaks, but then they realized that Black Pigeon Speaks is tanking. And uh, Donald Trump time travelers theory. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do we have to? Anderson Cooper could be an alien vampire. We won't know the truth until is this is this supposed to be satire or is this satire or is this real? Oh my god, I want to see the Donald Trump time traveler. Let's look into this. Welcome back to the Truth Factory. I feel like it's finally time for you Oof. guys to know the real truth about Donald Ooh, Trump. Ooh, that that mic. A lot of serious well-sourced videos, and this is not going to be one of them, but it will be super entertaining. As this is one of my all-time favorite conspiracy theories. Oh hey. It combines my three favorite things. So this person is just they're they're just a conspiracy theory. They're just a conspiracy theory lover who doesn't realize that a lot of the things they actually believe are also um uh, are also um conspiracy theorists. Are also conspiracy theories rather. Yeah, no the volume's actually up to maximum. It's their mic on this one. Donald Trump time travel and meme magic yeah it's gonna be stupid but i promise it'll also be funny and there's some actual elements of truth to will it, it be funny if you don't Let's know find what out. meme magic is it has to do with a website called 4chan.org oh my god cringe oh my god Here we go. I'm going to update the name of the stream here because we're getting into some serious shit. Meme magic, which originates on uh, 4 chanorg Where they started saying K-E-K, K -E -K, which is... Holy shit. Right-wingers ruin every single meme that they touch. Every single one. Become instant cringe. Korean for LOL. Holy and then someone shit. discovered that Kek was also an ancient Egyptian god of chaos that is represented as a frog human anamorph thing. Anyway, people adopted this frog character here that is known as Pepe and they start They stole it. By the way, we got Pepe back, baby! Let's get some frogs in chat. Oh look, we already have one! We already have a Pepe laughing in chat. Yeah, guess what? Pepe was made by a lefty, and guess what? It's owned by the lefties again. Pepe is ours, baby. Pepe! We got him back. The liberation of Pepe. My favorite event of this year. The One of the only good things to come out of this fucking coronavirus nightmare is the official, official reclamation of Pepe. We love our frog. Pepe laughed. We got Pepe laughed. We got... Oh, man. We got so many. Oh, man. I have so many here. Watch this shit. I got... I got fucking... We got Munka X. We got all these Pepes. Look at these. They're so great. Look at this. And we even have we haven't even have my own one, Pompo. Look, we have Pompo. He's so fucking cute. S. S. Orion. I love imagining a transgender communist attempting to convince the working class of anything at all. Oh well, I I think I do quite a good job. Um, most of my following is working class, both here and on Twitter. Um, and I don't know, people seem pretty convinced when I was out uh, out at the May Day protest yesterday. So I guess I do a pretty good job. And also, we've had a number of people who consider themselves conservatives who stick around and, and hang out in my audience because we're fucking awesome over here. We have a cool community, and I, uh, you know, I got a, I got a big brain. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's a little square, and people don't understand it, but I got a big brain. Oh, did Rail Roberto leave? 
Did Rail Roberto leave? Come on. Oh, look at that. Maybe Rail Roberto really was just the cat. Let's keep watching. This is funny. Started putting it into memes with Donald Trump. Some believe that this awakened keck and through meme magic oh, got Donald about that. Trump elected. Pepe was never racist. Never really. Pepe was never really racist. Um, so here's the thing with Pepe. Uh, Pepe was in a, a very like, um, it was in a, Pepe came from like this comic that was super, super like, like slice of life. It was not like super political, but the person who made the comic, who made the original Pepe, um, it considers themselves a lefty. What happened was um, Pepe became really popular just like, by like random meme chance as a response image on 4chan. And then when 4chan uh, got taken over basically over time, like 4chan used to be a kind of like, um, a, like I don't want to say apolitical because nothing's really apolitical, but uh, 4chan was like, was like South Park. You know what I mean? They were just like, we hate everything. We hate, uh, we're like counterculture. Hey, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the subscription. Deeply, deeply appreciated. A gifted one. Thank you, Flowery Jane. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I love any, any, seriously, every single subscriber we get brings us one fucking step closer to making this the best channel on Twitch. And you all can be a part of it. Thank you so fucking much. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, um, Mabutad. Um, 4chan was originally just general counterculture. They weren't specifically right wing. Um, they added a um, a board that was called Pol, like slash P O L. Um, it's it's politically incorrect. And when they made Pol, it became um, because it's you know it's it's hard to get banned off of 4chan or not hard, but you're unlikely to get banned just for um, like hate speech or brigading or anything like that. Um, because you're not unlikely to get banned for that kind of stuff. A lot of right wingers, including um, like readers of the Daily Stormer, a lot of like right wingers flooded into 4chan, and of course because the origin the existing culture on 4chan included Pepe, they stole and appropriated Pepe and started putting him in Nazi memes and shit. Now this lasted for a little while, and um and like the mainstream media picked up on that and was like, Pepe is kind of a hate symbol. And in certain ways, they're not entirely wrong because that's how symbols work, right? Like uh, a symbol can become a hate symbol even if it wasn't in the past. Um, something like... Uh, like uh like pepe could be taken and used so predominantly um by like hateful people that it becomes uh associated with those people and as a result they start to see that as like a joke like you focus a pepe oh you're in the know wink wink if you know about pepe you must know about the jq or something like that um Oh, was it first int or nose? I don't know. But they added poll at one point. Poll got added in. And yay, Rathew! Um, poll got added in. And once that happened, um, Pepe became like sort of uh, loosely associated with right wing because it was used on. Um, and then, of course, the satire. Another place where this happened was the satire. Originally a satire subreddit known as the Donald um, became not a satire subreddit anymore because, you know, subreddits don't have like they're not owned by anyone necessarily. And over time, a lot of people who were on the Donald to la like satirizing Donald Trump became, or I don't know, they left and they were replaced with actual Donald Trump fans. And then the Donald became a giant circle jerk of Donald Trump. Yeah, it became flooded by right wingers. Um, and as a result, they became like associated with Pepe. In truth, however, Pepe was never a right-wing symbol. Pepe was, in fact, the everyman. Like, Pepe was funny because he was so expressive that you could see yourself in him very easily, which is why I was really fucking happy to see people like Vosh, um, even Destiny, reclaim Pepe and, and say, nah, you guys don't get to own fucking Pepe. And now they won't even post Pepe anymore because more lefties, way more lefties use Pepe's than right-wingers. Right-wingers all moved over to that Groiper shit. That like absolute shit. Do you guys know what Groiper is? Do you know what a Groiper is? Look, let's, let's compare. Let's just compare. So we have Pepe. Let's look up Pepe. Hey, we have, look at this. We have, look at him. He's so cute. Look at, he's such a good boy. Feels good, man. And then you see, as you can see, there's like the, you know, some of the shitty ass memes that are on there, but the classic Pepe feels good, man. Um, then we have this, look at this, look at this, watch this, just watch how bad it is. Look at this. 
Look at how stupid it looks. This is the Groiper. This is the shitty knockoff version that's like, not only does it just look horrible but this is what they switch to this is what right wingers use now they don't use them um, they won't use uh pepe anymore they won't use pepe anymore because they know too many lefties use pepe look at this shit look at how many good fucking pepes there are out here some shit ones but look at all these ones so many good ones too so yeah you can still sometimes find some right wingers using pepe but for the most part we got him back baby also let me just show you this um watch this Pepe the Frog is dead. Here we go. This is what I've wanted to talk about. Um, Pepe the Frog is dead. Creator kills off the meme absorbed by the by the by the far right. So this is the actual art of Pepe. Um, Matt Fury. Matt Fury was the one who made um, Pepe the Frog. Um, Pepe the Frog, the meme. So he he actually did a comic where he killed Pepe because he felt so mad that right wingers were using Pepe as like a symbol. Um, that he just would rather kill Pepe. And he also did this one crazy, um, let me see if I can find the image. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Is there the one, um, let me see. Pepe prison. Where the fuck is it? There's this one image that was done by Matt Fury that was like, um, Pepe is dead. These are all the Pepe ones. Donald Trump, Pepe, I don't know. Regardless, uh, they, they like, Matt Fury killed off Pepe because he was so fucking mad um, that, that right-wingers had used his, like, cool dude to become an asshole. But guess what? We want him back. We want him back, baby! He's ours again! Our frog? Ours. So they can get their fucking filthy mitts off of Pepe. As president, this time was known as the Great Meme War. But meme magic trans- The Great Meme War. And they call lefties LARPers. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, Mawatad says, uh, if you remember correctly, it started at, um, at news, which turned into a den of Nazis from Stormfront, which then got deleted because Nazis, which, Nazis, which caused all of those other Nazis to spread into the other boards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so they're talking about some random shit about a meme war. Let's keep going. Sends timelines, and we are now in the Donald Trump meme magic timeline. Mm. And this is the tale of how Donald J. Trump and Baron Trump became time travelers. No, it gets better, I promise. Just keep watching. It all started with this I don't guy, think it's gonna get better. Nikola Tesla. Maybe you've heard of him. Born in Croatia in 1856, this quirky genius was in love with a pigeon true story, but he also pioneered electricity and several other innovative concepts and inventions like potentially a doom ray and even time travel. On March 13th, 1980... It's really funny to me that like the Nikolai Tesla um, thing was created by like, by like, like the obsession with Nikola Tesla was, uh, was started by the fucking oatmeal. That, that one fucking absolutely intolerable comic sorry no offense to the creator of the oatmeal i bet they're i bet they're fine i can't stand that comic i remember the great meme war like i remember the great meme wars like it was yesterday i killed 50 groipers oh no no aji i actually played in a band with a stone stormfront guy there's your weird fact of the day damn that sucks Five, a New York Herald journalist came across Tesla in a cafe looking like he had just been fried by 3.5 million volts. This is because Tesla what? was using himself in his own time travel experiments. Tesla said that on contact with a resonating electromagnetic charge, he found himself outside of his time frame reference. He reported that he could see in the immediate past, present, what and future all at fuck? once, but he was paralyzed within the electromagnetic field. Unable to help himself, his assistant and turned off the current which released hmm. Tesla before any permanent damage was done. Now at this time, with the current technology, time travel was far too unstable and dangerous. When Tesla passed like away in 1943, science. the FBI ordered a property custodian to seize the belongings of this Croatian alien, even though at this point Tesla was an American citizen. The National Defense Research Committee called an MIT oh, professor boy. to make sense of Tesla's notes in order to analyze if anything could be weaponized. This MIT professor was John Trump. This is Donald Trump's uncle. John 
Trump claimed that there was nothing of any real substance in Tesla's notes. Yeah, I but think of we'll course, find out. This was a lie. He knew that if the National Defense Research Committee realized what was in these notes, it could mean the end of the world, as it included blueprints for a theoretical time machine. Although John Trump thought Tesla's why time they, machine here's was a question. plausible, it was still here's a question. Why do time? Why would a time machine need to have lots of clocks? Isn't that a little weird? Why would you need lots of clocks on a time machine? Like time isn't created by clocks. I mean, unless you like subscribe to the like the really abstract idea that like our ability to perceive a clock lets us have an understanding of time. But last I checked, time machines don't just need to be like have a lot of clocks slapped on them. Yeah, that was that was War Corpse's idea. Yeah, he has all those clocks, doesn't he? Was it JonTron? Not what? possible to create one using. Was it JonTron? Wait, it was John Trunt? No, come on. It can't be John Trunt. You're kidding. He's not a guitarist, is he? Come on. Technology that existed in 1943. John Trump later died in 19... Oh, John Trump. Oh my God, it is John Trump. Okay, I mis misinterpreted what Tesla's you were saying. Notes ...and their implications to the protection of his beloved millionaire nephew, Donald John Trump. There are some wow. theories that say that Donald Trump was the alleged time traveler John Teeter that circulated on message boards from 2000 to 2001. Holy shit! And I'm not totally sold on this as a. What is Don? This is this is accelerating so fast. Crazy. Holy shit! But if Donald Trump did have the actual notes from Nikola Tesla on time travel and had the money to back up the research, perhaps it is plausible that Donald Trump has time traveled. My theory is that Donald Trump goes to the future. He sees the dystopian nuclear holocaust in a war between Hillary Clinton and the Russians, and maybe some religious extremists. Oh as my well. God! He back and he decides the only way to change this is by becoming president instead of Hillary Clinton. This is why it always seemed like Trump. Had these people are so cringe. Can you imagine? Can you imagine inventing entire fucking mythologies about this motherfucker? About Diaper Dawn? Can you fucking... Is this... Was this April for... No, this was not. This was in 2017. This was right after he was elected. This is horrible. A bizarre this has ability to, be to accurately fake. predict and manipulate his political opponents to his advantage. This is this is the unironic 4D 8D chess thing. Holy shit! They were not predictions; they were foreordained events. Trump is not just playing 4D chess here; he's playing fourth dimensional chess because he is a time. Hold on, let's just replay that. Just listen to that real quick. Hold on, hold on. Advantage because they were not predictions; they were foreordained events. Trump is not just playing 4D chess here; he's playing fourth-dimensional chess. He's not just playing 4D chess here; he's just playing fourth-dimensional chess. He's not just playing three-dimensional chess here; he's just playing. He's playing. I mean, he's not playing 3D chess here; he's playing three-dimensional chess. He's not just playing chess here; he's playing chess here. This has to. It's. This is. That's ridiculous. They said it. They because said the, But look at that. I predicted them saying the 4D chess thing and they fucking said it. This is so simple. They all their brains are like fucking mush. Time traveler. And I will get back to him in a bit, but first Baron Trump, because Baron Trump is also a time traveler. And this oh, is all of course. documented of by course, author naturally. Named Inger Saul Lockwood from New York in a book called The Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump and His Wonderful Dog Bulger, which was written in 1890. And Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey, written in 1893. What? Three. So this is where you can note that both Ingersoll Lockwood and Tesla were both living in New York when the first book was written five years after it was documented that Tesla first started to experiment with time travel. This is where Baron Trump goes back in time and gives Tesla his blueprints of the time machine before he even draws it. This completes the time loop that ensures Holy time travel shit. for the Trumps in the future. This is also where Baron Trump meets. So th remember when that person wanted me to remember when that person wanted me to to accurately analyze their video about China? Well, this is the counter to that. The author Lockwood. Just remember that um, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, and Baron Trump are time travelers who received who delivered information about Nikolai Tesla's time travel device to Nikolai Tesla in the past and also conveniently told a writer uh, to write a book about Baron Trump. 
who writes this book. But let's take oh, a look okay. at the book. Hmm. Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey opens up with a picture of him and is said to be the only authentic portrait of Baron Trump. Wow. Wow. The the uh, the resemblance is just undeniable. Vaguely round human scribbled face with completely different eyes and eyebrows and kid. Perfect likeness. Unbelievable. Looks a bit uncanny. And that dog beside him is his trusty sidekick, Bulger. The book opens talking about a portrait. I'm sorry. Portrait of a man of low stature with a head much too large for his. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Bulger is the name of the dog, but then it says Bulgarian Shepherd Dog. And they just. Why wouldn't they just type the word Bulger? What is this? That'd be like if I wanted to. This is like. Is this the equivalent of like making like, you know, those like um, those kidnapping letters when you like cut the letters out of stuff? Is that what they're doing here? They're like, oh, we couldn't type out the word bulgur. So we found the word Bulgarian and then cut the N off to make it say bulgur. What the? What? This is so weird. I'm so like this. Why? Okay, I don't even know how to counter that. Stature what the with fuck? A head much too large for his body, and in his left hand a grotesque image in ivory, most elaborately carved. It says that his quizzical look always attracts attention, so you can see that Baron Trump does not have autism. He's just a time traveler. <sighs> and if that's not weird, in of autism, he's just a time. You can see that Baron Trump does not have autism. He's just a time traveler. And if that's not we Well, I mean, you heard it here, folks. Weird Ingersoll Lockwood also wrote a book called The Strange Adventures of a Million Dollars, where a rich tycoon for the leaves follow. her only child one million dollars. And another Okay. Another book called The Last President, where in it, there is a part that sounds like a prediction where Trump goes on to win the next election and a mob Thank of you. Antifa Thank thugs you so tries much. to burn down Trump Tower in New York. The mobs push the police northward. Yeah, it couldn't be. But I mean, also, like, like, the guy lived in New York. The guy lived in New York. Thank you for the host, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, The guy lived in New York where Donald Trump's father was a real estate magnate and had his name all over every single bill, all kinds of buildings. So maybe he just was like, hey, what if there was a guy named Trump? What if his name was Baron Trump? Baron was like not an uncommon name a hundred years ago. It's just weird nowadays. This is so weird. Their dark hey, thank you for the follow. Surged up again with renewed fury. They shouted. What is this noise? Nude fury, they shouted, down with the rich man, death to the gold bugs, death to the capitalists, give us- Hey! Hey, that's based! That's my type of language! Let's hear that again. Surged up again with renewed fury. Whack! They shouted, Mega whack. down with the rich man, death to the gold bugs, death to the capitalists, give us back the money that you ground out of us. Give the us back the money. Now almost helpless. The Fifth Avenue Hotel will be the first to feel the fury of the mob. And this ends with the police firing guns into a horde of angry protests. Let's just find out when this was built. This was built in 1979, so hmm. I guess maybe maybe he was a time traveler then. Someone called the base department the of the time travel theory, but there's more and it gets really stupid, but it's also really funny. So, I'm okay, okay. Do this. So, so this cat seems to recognize that this theory is somewhat stupid, but they're still on. They're still, they're still, they're still, they're still dealing in it. They're still dealing in the conspiracy theory. They just think this one's a little stupid. Oh, the kid in the book is not named Baron. It's a nickname. There you go. More lies. They always do this. They always leave shit out because they're doing, they're just connecting random dots. This was, um, man, Chud Logic, Chud Logic, the Twitch, Twitch person, Chud Logic did a, did a cover. He, he's awesome. You all know him. Half of you know him at least. Chud Logic did a thing with David Icke and David Icke was the same way. He was like, you know, you see all the dots and you just have to connect them, but they're just connecting dots at random. 
Yeah, isn't this weird? This is definitely one of the weirder videos I've ever reacted to, but I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah. You, If you start off by saying, exactly, hey, there we go. There's some chud stuff. Hell yeah. I got the chud emotes too. Fuck yeah. Um, if you start off by saying, I don't like conspiracy theories, but anything's fair game. But also, it is kind of ironic when you run a channel that talks about tons of conspiracy theories, like China made the fucking, like, China made the fucking coronavirus, but then you're also like, well, maybe Donald Trump is a, is a uh, maybe Donald Trump is a time traveler. We can never know. Yeah, come on now. Let's keep going. Because Trump only wanted to be president for as long as he needed to stop yes, it is, the Mariner. dystopian Hillary Clinton future. He always said that he didn't want to be president if there was somebody else who he thought could do just as good of a job. This is where Mike Pence comes oh, in. Pence is also a time traveler who met Trump many years far into the future. Oh, so now Pence, Pence is, is a time traveler time too? Machine. And to put it simply, Pence can be in the same timeline more than once. This means that there can be more than one Mike. Pence on Earth at any given period. So if That's you ever horrifying. thought that Pence looks a bit stranger out of place, it's because he's from the far future where races have become homogenized and everyone looks like Mike Pence. Mike Pence, or rather copies of him, were sent back to the past by he's Pence Palpatine. Trump and Trump in order to infiltrate the lives of political he's enemies Palpatine. before they ever become political enemies. Mike Palpatine. Indeed, there are many such enemies. Oh my have God. You've ever heard of or met their demise or felt. Pence's Peni? Mike Peni? I lost everyone looks like Michael Pence. I would rather die. I would rather die. If that is the actual future that's coming for us, I want to die right now. I want to be dead right now, please, for the love of God. Fell into obscurity long before they could ever become a threat to Trump. But not Tim Kaine, who is actually gay. He is not involved in this plot and is What? What the What the fuck? Oh, is this an alt? Alright. Uh let's take a look here. Bye-bye. They're so desperate. They're always so desperate. Thanks for the follow, I guess. You can follow and not participate in chat. Thread long ago by one of the Pences who is still in service. Luckily for Trump, his temporal one of the enemies... one of the Pences that's still in service. Woo! That's amazing. I love it. I I I I think we need to retire our our Mike Pence from service. He's he's been uh he's been running for a little too long and his hey and his batteries are getting low. Why can't why is this doing this to me? Can you get out of here? Thank you. I'm fucking having issues. Don't realize this. And why is it important that Tim Kaine is gay? Because his wife is another Pence from the future. Look at them. Now the question remains, did Trump go back? Those two people don't really look very similar. At all. Like this is just really going off the deep end. But, but, you know what? I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give this one a B for effort. Time to this one was way more higher effort than the other one. Keck, or did Trump create Keck by drawing the first meme on ancient ruins, knowing that meme magic is what holds all the timelines together and what will ultimately win him the presidency in 2016 after we win the meme wars and stop the dystopian nuclear Hillary Clinton timeline? Yeah, this video is stupid, but I've already wasted hours making it, so here you go. Thanks, guys. If you enjoyed this, I have a link to my Twitter and Patreon in the description. Have a great night. Okay. All right. So, um, hmm. Well, it was funny, but probably not for the way they intended it to be funny. Um, yeah. You know, I'm just going to point something out. It's really fucking cringe. It's really fucking cringe that the only, like, that that is like a fucking actually hilarious conspiracy theory story that you could fucking, like, that's like a Terminator movie storyline. And it would be way more interesting if it was literally anything but fucking Donald Trump. Holy shit. All they can think about is Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Imagine if the only stories you could imagine in your mind were ones in which the stars were Mike Pence, Donald Trump, and Hillary Clinton. That is a level of politics poisoning that I don't think any lefty has ever truly reached. I don't think there's any lefties that are that politics poisoned. Holy shit. Ho!
Holy shit. I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, I think this one is like semi-ironic, but then here's the thing. So when you post this, when you post these types of stories, but then you unironically make con ver conspiracy videos about things that is you're unironic in, it kind of waters down the message, doesn't it? Doesn't the fact that they have a, a channel in which it, it like sort of seamlessly progresses between quote unquote ironic conspiracies and other conspiracies such as, I don't know, um, impeachment, the truth, the climate agenda, CO2 is greening the earth, uh, Justin Trudeau, I mean, I don't know, I guess that is kind of true, he did do that, but that's only, a, oh, this is a parody video, the truth about Facebook with reptilians, the truth about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, um, like, they, this is like, this is incoherent, you can't tell what's real and what's not, and it's almost like, I don't, I don't know, like, somebody could watch this video and think they were being serious, and in fact, there's nothing to indicate they aren't being serious about this video, but then, they're, that, they're, are they not being serious in thinking that, uh, fucking Donald Trump is a time traveler? I don't know, this is really fucking weird.